Hey guys, today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Able Carry Daybreaker, which is a really lightweight and durable 25 liter everyday bag. And a while back, we took a look at Able Carry's Daily Active Backpack, which has been one of my favorite minimalist EDC bags to use. And like that bag, this has a really solid build quality. It's been comfortable to wear. It has a very slick aesthetic, and it also just has a really impressive capacity. So I'm really excited to share it with you guys. There's a lot of great stuff here, and I wanna thank the company for sending the bag for me to test out. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. Starting off with the outside of the bag, I really like the overall aesthetic. It has a very modern and minimalistic look that feels like it's gonna blend in well into a ton of different environments, whether you're taking this for walking around the city or going into the outdoors. I could definitely see myself maybe taking this to the beach to use as a bag for my clothes and my towels, or even for just going to the grocery store to hold some of the larger items that I've been buying recently. And then as far as the materials, the bag is made out of a lightweight 210D Cordura ripstop nylon. And the bag really does feel very light when it's empty. It comes in at a little bit over a pound, so it just feels like almost nothing is there. And then the material itself, even though it's lightweight and pretty thin, it still feels durable and like it's gonna offer a nice amount of weather resistance. And then the bag also has really nice aqua guarded YKK zippers all throughout. So it definitely feels like it's gonna hold up well to some rougher usage. Continuing along the outside, I was really happy to see that the bag has an external water bottle pocket and it has a nice amount of space. Currently what I have in here is just a 20 liter insulated water bottle from Wandered and that fits in there really comfortably. I really like how much elasticity the compartment has. So if you have a little bit of a thicker bottle, it should be able to fit in there okay. And then I also like that this compartment has these little holes near the bottom to provide some drainage in case you happen to spill your drink in this area. On the outside, the bag also has a few really nice handles, one on the top and then you also have one on each side to allow you to carry the bag by this handle if you don't want to wear it on your back. And these handles have a really nice seatbelt like material. It's pretty thin, so I wouldn't want to hold this for a longer period of time if the bag had a lot of weight on it. And then you also have this webbing that continues along the bottom. It's the same seatbelt like material, but it also has a few more attachment points where you can clip things on with a carabiner. And then this also comprises Able Carry's A-frame system, which we saw on their daily active backpack. And this is a really interesting system because it really helps distribute the weight of the pack and it helps it just feel a little bit more lightweight even when you're carrying it with a lot of weight. So just really like the implementation of this A-frame system here. And then the last thing that I'll mention while we're on the outside is that there's a few additional attachment points along the front that are gonna be great for clipping on gear that you don't wanna place on the inside. So the only thing that I currently have attached here is my hero clips that I can hang the bag up when I don't wanna place it on the ground. And then moving into the capacity, the bag comes in at about 25 liters, which is a really versatile kind of all-purpose size. It's worked great for my day-to-day. -day. I've been able to fit everything that I normally like to carry with me very easily, and there's still plenty of leftover space. And then I really like that even though this is a slightly larger bag, it still maintains a really slim silhouette. It hugs my back closely, so it's gonna be really great for navigating crowded areas, whether I'm walking around the city or jumping onto public transit. One thing that I will note about the 25 liter size is this is a slightly taller bag. So if you have a little bit of a smaller frame or you're a little bit shorter, that's definitely something that you'll wanna keep in mind. And then jumping into the straps and the back paneling, overall the bag has been pretty comfortable to wear. I like how the straps have been implemented here. They have a nice amount of padding on the inside. They have this meshy material to help prevent moisture from building up. And then they also have a really nice width to help prevent the bag from digging into your shoulders when you're wearing it with a lot of weight. One thing that I will mention here is that these straps are a lot thinner than the ones that were on Able Carry's Daily Active Backpack. Those were just a little bit more cushioned, so I would have liked to have seen that here. But considering how lightweight the bag is, I haven't really noticed any issues with it so far. And then another thing to note on the straps is the bag does include an adjustable and removable sternum strap to help distribute the weight. And then moving into the back paneling, this has also been pretty comfortable. On the inside of the bag, it has a removable kind of foam insert that helps give some structure to the bag and it also provides a little bit of padding. But in general, I was disappointed to see that there's not a whole lot of elevation. There's no meshy material. So the bag did tend to make my back pretty sweaty while I was walking around which is also particularly sad to see because it, the Able Carry Daily Active actually had one of the best back panelings that I've seen on a daily bag. So it's not a huge deal here, especially given how lightweight the bag is. But for me personally, I would have preferred to have seen a little bit more of that padding and elevation, even if it made the bag a little bit heavier. 
And then continuing on with the organizational options, the bag keeps things really simple. On the outside, there's really only one quick access area and that's this side pocket here. And I really like the placement and orientation of this pocket. It makes it really easy to kind of swing the bag around and reach into this while you're actually wearing this. This also has a very well protected zipper. And so opening this up, no sort of internal organization in this compartment, just a nice amount of space, even for some bulkier items. So currently what I have in here is my Ray-Ban sunglasses with their case. And then I also threw in my Apple AirPods Pro. And then the last thing on the inside is that it has this little lanyard with a plastic clip that's gonna be great for attaching your keychains or maybe a multi-tool, which is what I currently have here. And then jumping into the main area, this is a top loading bag, but it has a pretty wide opening here so that you can see down into this really kind of cavernous main area, plenty of space in this 25 liter bag. Even with the items that I have in here, I still had some leftover space near the top if I wanted to toss in a lunchbox or a jacket, but I really like just the simplicity and the amount of volume offered here. It's great for holding some bulkier items. And so jumping in, the first thing that I currently have here is my Beats Studio wireless headphones. And then down near the bottom, I have my Bellroy Classic Pouch, which has some of my smaller tech accessories. And then I also have a little Maxpedition pouch with some of my EDC items. And then the last thing that I have here is just a full-size moleskin notebook. And so now with the compartment empty, you can get a better look at the inside. As you can see, very simple layout. And it's an all black lining, so I would have liked to have seen something a little bit brighter to make it easier to see down into the lower areas of the bag. But besides that, not a whole lot of organization going on on the inside. On the back, you have a very simple sleeve here that has a nice amount of elasticity, and this doesn't have any sort of padding. So that's one thing about this bag is that it's not gonna be great if you were expecting to carry a laptop with it. For that, you'll probably wanna take a look at Able Carry's Daily Active Bag. This sleeve here is not padded or suspended off the bottom of the ground. So in my case, I did throw in my laptop, but I placed it into a protective sleeve from in case to just give it a little bit more padding and security. And then in this sleeve, I also tossed in my iPad mini. And then the last thing that I have in this sleeve is my Levitate portable standing desk, which fits in there really comfortably. And it also works particularly well for this bag as it helps add a little bit of structure and rigidity to the back. And then at the top, you also have this little loop here, which you can use to clip on additional accessories. This can also pair well with a water bladder, which you can store in this sleeve here and then kind of thread the nozzle through this little loop. One thing that I will mention if you wanted to use this with a water bladder is there is no sort of pass-through, so you'll have to leave the top of the compartment a little bit unzipped for that to get through. On the back of this compartment, you have this additional zipper here, which is gonna be a spot that's gonna allow you to pull out the removable kind of foam insert that I mentioned a little bit earlier when we were talking about the back handling. So here you can get a look at kind of the thickness and padding that this offers while you're wearing the bag. And then it's nice that you can actually take that out. And then a really nice feature here is that there's actually a secret zippered compartment on the inside of here. So this is gonna add a lot of protection for anything a little bit more sensitive that you need to carry with you throughout the day. So currently what I have in here is just a field notes notebook. This is definitely gonna be a great spot to put something like your passport or maybe some spare cash while you're walking around. And then the last bit of organization in this main area is actually on the flap. There's an additional zippered compartment here that has a nice amount of volume. This is gonna be a great spot for holding some of those smaller accessories that you don't want floating around the main area. And so I was able to fit a ton of stuff in here. And even with the items that I have in here, there's still some leftover space. So just a really impressive amount of volume. Currently what I have in here is my Blue Pop portable Bluetooth speaker and power bank. And then I also have a lightning cable to charge my phone and my iPad. And then I also just have a few smaller accessories that I tossed in here because I didn't really have anywhere else to place them. So this is just a stylus and then a simple nail clipper. So just really like the simplicity of the compartments that are offered throughout the bag, even though there's not that many, because they have so much space and volume, you have a lot of flexibility with what you can actually store in them. And then as I use this bag, one thing that I noticed is that because it's not very rigid, it actually packs down really flat. And then given the fact that it's so lightweight, this is actually a really great bag to pack into a larger travel bag for when you're on a trip and you need something reliable and spacious for your day to day. Then this is gonna be a phenomenal option and it actually compares very well to a lot of the other great packable bags that we featured on the channel. And so now that the compartment is a little bit emptier because this is a 25 liter bag, you know that I'm gonna wanna see if this could work for minimal travel. So what I wanted to do was throw in my larger double-sided and compressible packing cube. And this is a pretty narrow opening, so I was worried at first, but this does actually end up fitting in here pretty easily. And as you can see, plenty of leftover space, so I could definitely toss in 
an additional pair of shoes. So here I have some Toms that I like to take with me on every trip. And then at the top, there's still some leftover space. So I could probably toss in my smaller packing cube here and just kind of stuff that in there. And then it's able to close pretty comfortably. And it's just kind of turns into a very lightweight, minimal travel bag. So really impressive amount of space, as I mentioned throughout the video. And then this is such a light bag that you can easily carry this onto pretty much any airline. It still manages to be a pretty small and sleek size. So if you're somebody who's just really into ultralight travel and you don't need to carry a laptop with you or you're just looking for a very durable hiking and everyday bag, then this is gonna be a great option to check out. And so to wrap up, it's been a really good experience testing out the Able Carry Daybreaker over the past couple of weeks. The bag is a really great build quality, a nice sleek look. It has plenty of capacity and I just really like its simple and effective organizational layout. And so you can currently purchase this on Able Carry's site for about $110. And this is definitely a bit of an investment, but considering the features and build quality that the bag has to offer, it feels like a pretty reasonable price. And it also compares well to other similar bags in this price range. And so as I was testing this out, the first bag this made me think of was Able Carry's Daily Active Backpack, which we looked at a while back. As I mentioned in the video, that was one of my favorite bags to use. It has a really sleek style, very simple layout. It has plenty of capacity and it has one of the most comfortable harness systems that I've seen on an EDC bag. It's actually a little bit more comfortable than this one in my opinion. On top of that, that one also comes with a suspended laptop sleeve. So if you're looking for more of a fully fledged day bag or just something that's gonna be a little bit smaller than this, and that's gonna be a great option to check out. The next bag this made me think of is the Topo Design Standard Pack, which is a really solid, minimal, everyday bag. It's very lightweight. It has a very simple organizational layout similar to this, and it has a little bit more of a unique style. It kind of pops a little bit more. It's not quite as minimal. So if you're looking for a lightweight and simple daily bag that's going to offer a little bit of a different aesthetic, then that's going to be a great option to take a look at. If you like the aesthetic and size of this bag, another great option to take a look at would be the North Face Caban, which we looked at a while back. And that was just a really solid kind of all-purpose bag. It had a great build quality and it had some really nice organizational options and a very well-protected laptop sleeve. So if you're looking for more of a full-fledged day bag as opposed to something lightweight like this, but you want something with a similar aesthetic, then that's gonna be one of the best options to take a look at. Another bag this made me think of is the Boundary Supply Errant Pack, which is a really great EDC and tech pack. It has a very solid build quality, tons of weather resistance. It has a really comfortable harness system and some really great organizational options and protection for your tech. That one's gonna come in at a pretty close price range as well. So if you're looking for a bag that has a pretty sleek look and that's gonna offer just a little bit more padding and protection for all the items that you need to carry with you, then that's gonna be a good option to take a look at as well. And then the last option that I'll mention here is the Tortuga Outbreaker Day Pack, which is one of my favorite bags for when I'm trying to travel with a larger travel bag. It packs down really flat and it's very lightweight, so it's just easy to toss into my larger bag and use for my day-to-day -day activities when I'm on a trip. And that one's gonna have a pretty similar aesthetic to this, and it's also made out of a really durable sailcloth that offers tons of weather resistance. It has a little bit of a different layout, but overall a pretty similar sleek aesthetic. So if you're just looking for something simple and lightweight that's gonna work for pairing with a travel bag, then that's gonna be a great alternative to keep in mind. With that being said, the Able Carry Daybreaker holds up pretty well against all those bags. And if you're looking for a lightweight, comfortable, and durable bag that's gonna work well for all sorts of daily activities, then this is gonna be a good option to check out. And I'm definitely curious to hear what you guys think of the Daybreaker bag and what sort of activities you think you would use this for. And if there are any similar options that you think I should feature on the channel, as always, please let me know in the comments. And I wanna thank the company again for sending the bag for me to test out. And if you guys found this video useful, please give us a like. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And thank you guys so much.